when you look at uh, the prices, okay, uh, it, it, in here it says New Dell and Spron. Okay, so um, there's two of them there. Uh, anyway, uh, if you look at the prices. Okay, so uh, so granted, if you bought two of them, maybe you could sell one, and get some of that back. Anyway, uh, anything over a hundred dollars, you got you got to figure: is it really worth? Um, you know, is it really worth uh, spending the money on this, plus the service for a technician to do this? Uh, vice purchasing a new laptop. So, so uh, these are things you have to weigh before actually doing something. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, take a look on how to remove one and uh, and see what see what uh, where we can go with this. All right. Okay, yes, this is my uh, workstation for all my coins and everything. Uh, one thing I want to point out that um, what I did is I removed all the screws. Um, we're uh, taking the battery out. Okay, uh, no screws down there to take unless they're underneath the stickers. Uh, but I removed all the screws. Only because uh, moving some of them I couldn't uh, get them out. The issue here is there's no place down here to unscrew to pull out a hard drive. No panels to open up to get to RAM chips and anything. So I'm doing that. I've never done this before. So uh, uh, even though I'm a computer tech, uh, laptops are not my speciality. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pull up on, on the sides and you're going to hear some noise. Okay, it snapped and it came up. And actually this is coming up a lot easier than some others. Hey, look at that. There's a hard drive. There's RAM. RAM is, uh, RAM is in there. So really you don't have to unplug anything. But this unplugged. Nope, that didn't unplug. I don't think, nope. Yeah, that's got pins. That came out of some place. So I gotta figure out where that came out of. Alright, but the, the idea here is this is so much easier than an HP laptop that I did. And I uh, don't know what's holding it in right now. There's only, it seems like just one thing. Yeah, it's over, it's over there that's, and over here that's holding it in. So if there's a, uh, if you can remember where these go, and be careful you don't break anything off, you can just pop this off and then you figure out where this plugs in, and it has to be somewhere close down here. But there's the hard drive, there's the RAM. This is one of those uh, laptops that flashes uh, uh, an amber light or something like that about four times in a white light or a blue light, uh, green light, I don't know what it is, uh, one time. So it's an indication that the motherboard is bad. Um, the battery uh, has already been replaced, so that's not it. But there's. CD-ROM drives here, um, unscrew one screw to pull it out, hard drives here, um, and yeah, it slides right back and out it comes. Look at that. <laughs> That's how easy it is. So, and the RAM chips are right here. So, uh, good for parts and all that, but if you need to change out your motherboard, hey, there it is. Uh, the fan, I mean, everything's right there. And how easy is that? Just three plugs to to put the keyboard back in. Hopefully you help, uh, this uh, helps you out. BIOS battery is the uh, same thing as a desktop. I mean, uh, you know, a dollar or so at the store to replace that if you need to. Okay, this is actually the uh, the in inside of, um, underneath the keyboard. Okay, there's one connector right here that goes into this spot. Okay, there's one connector right here that plugs in what I, what I, right there. Okay, this connector goes right there. And this one up here that came off first. Oh, stay there. Goes in right there. Okay, so and they just slide right in. Alright, and that they have the little uh, pull tabs on them. Or the blue thing. So you can actually, they're made to be pulled out. All right. So, so uh, actually, that, the blue, blue tab is over on this side. All right. So uh, I think I'm going to sell parts on eBay. <laughs> so this top panel, this whole top panel, this touchpad, everything, will, will go on eBay. And uh, and what I'll do is I'll probably sell parts on eBay in the monitor. Monitor should be kind of easy to take off. That might be a different video. Uh, because uh, it looks the, the the big issue is this cable right here. I've done this before, and you have another cable. This this cable uh, that looks like a ground. I'm not sure. 
Um, anyway, the, you have uh, you have cables like right here that go to the the camera up on top. Okay, so so and you have a microphone. So you have to be careful about that kind of stuff with the monitor. This is where the battery actually sits in. Okay. Okay, I want to attempt to take the uh, motherboard out. So um, this part right, right here that uh, looks like it comes off the sound card. All right, for Mike uh, was right here. It was sitting on top, and you just pop that right off. Got to remember where it goes. So that's why you take pictures, take video of what you're doing, so you know how to put it back together. You want to just want to get that out of the way. This uh, this plug right here was probably the hardest one to back off. So I took a, a screwdriver on each side and just uh, worked it off. This is very important that you don't break this because um, this is your monitor. And then uh, this just pops out. Don't grab the wires and pull it off. Grab the white thing and, and work it off. And just move that out of the way. I unscrew these four screws that says one, two, three, four. And this whole thing comes out of the way. So, so we're just going to move this. We want to be careful of this over here that we don't uh, damage it. Just move it and get it out of the way. All right. That's your processor. Very, very careful about the processor. I would leave it in the motherboard until you get the new motherboard and move. This will probably have to be moved over too. So, so um, that's going to have to be moved over to, into the new motherboard. So I'm going to go on eBay and uh, check out, uh, find a new motherboard for this, see how much is, if it's really worth uh, uh, replacing. But it looks like that on a skill level from a one to five, I suppose, for a technician to do this is probably uh, five being the easiest. Okay. Uh, for a, a user to access the hard drive to, to retrieve the data and stuff for a user to do this, feeling comfortable taking a, getting underneath and plugging everything back up, it's probably uh, being, being close to one, uh, not so comfortable. I don't know if I have the numbers right, going backwards or whatever, but that's just a, a, a self-rating that I'm doing. So uh, um, that's a, a sticky thing right there, and uh, this part this part was actually over this as a heat sink. So that doesn't look like it unplugs. That one definitely does. So that's your processor. So I'm going to unscrew the screws and um, there's one there's one right there. Uh, there's none over there. There's one right there. And that's for the um, DVD ROM. I, I don't see a whole lot of screws for this. Because uh, th these are the screws from the, uh, the holes for the screws to go through the bottom that was holding this in. And these are uh, tension bars for the keyboard to lay lay on to, to keep it off of everything so um, I'm going to press on with this and do that just take out the screws and uh, make sure you keep them in an area that's safe this was just too easy I, 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 yeah, you do have to back off the CD-ROM drive so unscrew the one screw there all three screws here are the same size that I took off one there one there and one over here okay so so those are the three screws this this is just unreal. I wish HP was this uh, this easy, but um, uh, I about uh, killed my uh, uh, my spare uh, HP laptop when I did this. Anyway, I had to pull this out and then lift it up. So uh, so I'm I'm grabbing over on this side and uh, bringing it up and clearing. There's something that has to clear over on on this side, and and there it is. And so that's. That's the motherboard that has to be replaced. So, uh, so putting a motherboard back in, I'm doing this with one hand because I'm uh, holding a. There, there's area I'm holding the camera with the other hand. <laughs> so, uh, slide it back in. Make sure your your wires are clear. All right, push it back down. Uh, this is not going to work because uh, because I don't have a new motherboard yet. <laughs> All right, there's little keyways. So you're going to slide it down and push it down. Okay, there's no clicks or anything. That's just going to be set down. Okay, make sure it's uh, it stays in its little clips here. See that one came out? Pop it back in there. Okay, it, it snaps in. All right, and then uh, it it uh, goes right on top of that. So that's where it came off of. All right, um, th this guy, this is the fan for the CPU, and this is uh, how it cools the the system down. We need to put the screws in too. <laughs> Don't want to forget that. Um, I'm just going a little quick here. 
Uh, you want to line these up, the screws. Uh, line the screws up. This is a bad motherboard, so I'm not worried about the damage I do the motherboard as far as ESD goes. Electric static discharge. Okay, don't forget one screw. Slide this guy back in. Connect it. Okay, with the connector, put the screw there. Okay, you're going to put the screw here, and you're going to put a screw right there. All right, and uh, don't forget to put your memory chips back in. Your processor will probably have to go back on. Uh, you know, I should probably show you how to take that processor off. Okay, take a flathead screwdriver, one here, and you're going to see the whole thing shift counterclockwise, and you're going to see the whole thing shift back all the way over. Okay, so 180 all the way out. Turn it all the way around. So um, this will come out real easy. Very important that you do not touch these pins underneath. Static discharge. So that's why I'm saying keep it in here until you get your new motherboard. I'm going to put that back in. That's the safest place for it. And when you put it back in, you're going to. It's really hard, and you got to crank it. Make sure it's seated all the way down. You got to really crank it and make that flat again. All right. So uh, so that's how you change out the processor. Okay. I think I covered all the bases. Um, put the screws in underneath. Put these. Put this back in. Plug in your plugs again. Uh, every place that I told you in the beginning, review the beginning of the video again, and you'll know uh, where those plugs are. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, I think I am going to just, this was so easy that I'm, I think I'm going to get another motherboard for probably a battery at the same time. And, and uh, if the, the battery, the guy said that was new, so I'm not sure if it's new or not. Um, so I, I might just get a set, and hopefully they're not going to run so much to where it's cheaper just to buy a new new laptop. But we'll see. Okay, so eBay is probably the best place for it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope I, it was beneficial. I uh, don't know. Leave some feedback. Okay, um, have a nice day. Bye.